Today on Horseland. <laughs> it's a comedy of errors when a princess visits Horseland. Yes. yes! Will said the princess didn't want to be bothered here. And Chloe and Zoe become royal pains as they try to impress their royal guests. Uh -huh. Did someone bring us food? No, but it's, um, interesting all the same. There you go. Good girl. That's quite a horse. Looks like a first-class snob to me. I think she looks kind of big. And scary. You can't judge somebody by how they look. You have to get to know them. You know. Walk a mile in their shoes. Fortunately, I don't wear shoes. What a beautiful horse. Name's Wendy. What kind of name is that? Wendy comes from a cold place. She belongs to the Princess of Svalsbergen. And I just found out that the princess herself is coming to Horseland for riding lessons. Yay! A real princess. We are so going to give her the five-star treatment. As only we know how, sister. Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> the princess is coming here to get a break from all the attention she usually gets. So the last thing she needs is anybody acting up. The princess and her assistant are the only ones coming. They are keeping the whole thing real quiet. No newspapers? No magazines? No gossip shows? No. And it's up to us to keep it that way. Treat them like you would any other students. Hey, we can keep a secret. Right, Chloe? Right, Zoe? Well, duh. Double duh. Hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to tell the other girls at school. They're gonna be so jealous. Welcome to Horseland. I'm Scarlet. That horse is snootier than a peacock on parade. I never thought I would say this, Angora, but you might be right. Now, now, give the new horse a chance. What's all this? What are you two doing? As you know, Zoe and I have impeccable manners. So we thought we'd teach all of you how to behave around royalty. Will told us not to make a fuss. Get real, Sarah. You expect me to listen to a guy who wears plaid? Now let's begin with a lesson in fine dining. Aren't you jumping the gun a little here? We don't know anything about this princess. That's right. We should wait. Get to know the princess first and find out what she likes. Girls, girls, girls. Once you know a person's background, her breeding, her social standing, that's all that matters. Now, who wants to show us which fork to use first? Should we make a break for it? No, they'd catch us. They can run fast. Hello. Let's pay attention, hmm? Now, this is a service plate. It's never actually eaten on. It will be removed when the first course is brought. And this is an appetizer fork. It's the only fork placed on the right side of the plate. And this is the dessert fork. Notice it's placed horizontally above the plate. <sighs> Hello, my name is Alexia. Howdy. My name's Will, and these are... Hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm Zoe. And we are so totally thrilled to meet you. Thank you. Uh, but the suitcases... We'll let the help get that. You must be the princess's assistant. Well, I, um... I'm Sarah. This is Alma. Hey, uh... My name is Linnea. Can we help you unload the car? Yes, thank you. What's it like being a princess? I mean, a real one. Daddy calls us princesses, but it's not like we're actually official, you know? Ah! 
Are you okay? Uh, yes, but those horses are so big. I, I mean, nice. Big and nice horses. <laughs> <laughs> This is a beautiful home you have. Oh, I don't live here. This is where I board my horse, so I come by pretty much every day. Uh, would you excuse us, please? Thanks. They think I'm you and you're me. We have to tell them. Yes, yes, of course. As soon as... No, we have to tell them now. But... <sighs> now, now, your highness. You can't run away from us. We're your new best friends. Someone will show you where to put the bags, okay? Don't worry. We'll take good care of the princess. I'm sure you will. Sorry about the way they're acting. That must drive the princess crazy. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fine. This is a beautiful horse. Yeah, she sure is. You like horses a lot, huh? Oh, yeah. When I get on a horse, I feel so free. It's wonderful. Well, maybe we could go riding sometime. Really? We can take the trail up to Charlton Ridge. You can see the whole valley from up there. Really? <laughs> when can we go? Whenever you want. Excuse me, but your princess needs help getting dressed for her lesson. Well, uh, duty calls. Sure, I'll saddle up her horse. It's okay, girl. She's going to get the princess now. Why is the princess taking so long? It must be that awful assistant of hers. You know how hard it is to find good help. Here they come. Don't worry, Alexia. Windy is very gentle. Your Highness, you know I never learned how to ride. I can't get on a horse. I can barely get into these pants. You look fine, Alexia. How I look is not the point. Please, can't we just pretend a bit longer? At home, I have so little freedom. Here, no one even knows who I am. You're Princess Linnea of Svalsbergen, and I'm your assistant. And trading clothes won't change that. What will change is how people feel when they find out you tricked them. Oh, you're right, Alexia. We have to tell them the truth, and soon. All righty. Ready for your lesson? Uh, no, I'm not. Why is that? Because, uh, uh, you tell them. Princess! yoo uh, I'm afraid Alexia won't be riding today because she's, uh... What's wrong, princess? Yes, what is it? The princess won't be riding today because, uh... Ah! Because her boots are dirty. <laughs> what? what? Hate to break it to you, miss, but when you ride horses, that kind of comes with the territory. Uh, nevertheless, the princess will not be riding today. I'm going back in the house now. I'll clean them for you, princess. No, let me. You've never cleaned a boot in your life! Yeah, but I watched someone do it once. I guess we have time for that trail ride now. I don't think Alexia will like it. <laughs> but let's do it. Are you sure it's okay for you to ride the princess's horse? Oh yeah, I know she won't mind. Have fun, you two! Look, Linnea. Race you to the top! I have to tell her the truth. But what if she gets upset or starts treating me like... like a princess? Oh, it's beautiful here. Thought you'd like it. See that lake out there? In summer, we go swimming there. Whenever you wish. Sure, we're safe. 
As long as we go as a group. It must be nice to have good friends like that. It's what friends do, right? They take care of each other. They're always there for each other, right? Right. Lenny is gone. I know. You know? Saw her and Sarah right off about an hour ago. They'll be fine. No, no. Uh, you don't understand. She can't leave my sight. You must take me to her at once. We'll do it. Don't worry, princess. You can ride with me. No, with me. Heads or tails? Tails. Fine. Give me your hand. <laughs> Don't worry, princess. We're the fastest riders in the county. Fastest? Yeah! <laughs> what a great ride. For sure. But it's getting late. Oh, I suppose we should get back now. Well, it's a little late for that. How dare you run away? I didn't run away. We just went for a ride. And I guess you're behind all this? Well, yeah, but I didn't mean to cause any trouble. You have no idea how much trouble you could have caused. Come on, let's go home. Now look, I do know one thing. You may be a princess, princess, but you are being incredibly mean to Linnea. Sarah! Alexia can treat her help any way she wants. She's royalty. Alexia was only worried about me, Sarah. She and I may be different, but we're like friends. Well, a friend shouldn't treat a friend like that. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Friends aren't supposed to boss each other around. Could I have a word with you? Now? Excuse me. I can't believe they're still arguing. You sure messed that one up, Sarah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the princess fired Linnea. <laughs> Linnea has something to tell you. Well, go on. Sarah, I've been thinking about what you said, about how friends should treat friends. And, well, though we just met, I consider you a friend. So I'd never do anything to hurt you or make you think less of me. Of course, you have every right to be mad, but I hope you won't be. I have no idea what you're saying. Sarah, Alexia is not the princess of Svalsbergen. But if she's not the princess, then who... You mean, you? Me. Sorry, Angora. I can't get it. You're stuck in there. Ah! She never says anything to us. I know. What a snob. So, let me get this straight. Alexia isn't a princess. Right. But Linnea is. Also right. Are you sure it's okay for me to know this? Linnea said I could tell you, but she wants to tell Chloe and Zoe herself. That I have to see. Girls, we have a big announcement. What's that? At 5 o'clock tonight, we are going to hold a gigantic party for Princess Alexia. For Princess... Alexia. Yeah, that will be a surprise. We've invited all of our friends from the country club and the yacht club and the tennis club and... Will said the princess didn't want to be bothered here. You, you have to cancel this. Sorry, can't. Already charged the caterer on our credit card. So don't be late or you won't rate. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better find Linnea. Linnea, Alexia! 
Chloe and Zoe are inviting friends over and they're going to throw a party. For who? For the princess. Only they think that's you. Aww. What should we do, princess? Well, first you should go back to calling me Linia, like before. Okay, Linia. And second, there's nothing to do. Maybe it'll be fun to meet these friends. Guess what? We're throwing a party tonight in honor of you, Princess. How kind of you. We'll be very pleased to attend. Um, one problem. You aren't invited. What? Come on, Sarah. You know we never invite the hired help. Unless you want to serve food or wash dishes or something. You're making a big mistake. See, Linia... Completely understands. Good. But tell you what. You can stick around and watch if you want. From a distance. You might learn something. Yeah, because we know how to treat a princess like a princess. <laughs> Chloe and Zoe's dad is not going to be happy when he sees this bill. Food's good, though. Where is she? Girl's waving. It must be awful putting up with this craziness all the time. Some people don't seem to mind. Hi, my name is Chloe, and this is my sister Zoe. Hi. And we'd like to welcome all of you to Horseland. Where is she? Anyway, we have a special treat tonight. A chance to meet the incredibly reclusive, rich, and royal Princess of Spalsbergen. I said, presenting the Princess of Spalsbergen. Princess? <laughs> er, princess? Over here? No, over here. <gasps> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good evening, everyone. First, I'd like to thank my new friends at Horseland, particularly Sarah. This is a special place, and I'm grateful for the days I've spent here. Who do you think you are? Yeah, who? The Princess of Spalsbergen. She is? You are? Yes, I am. And I'm grateful to these young ladies, Chloe and Zoe. They helped me see what a fine and faithful friend I have in my assistant, Alexia. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> I can't believe Linnea has to leave already. And I can't believe we wasted the whole time hanging around with the wrong princess. <sighs> We'd better go say goodbye. I had a wonderful stay, Sarah. Please thank everyone for me. I had fun too. You really know how to treat a guest like royalty, even when they're not. We know there's no excuse for not telling the truth. And we're sorry. Well, um, we're sorry too. Even if Alexia is just, you know, the hired help? Well, yeah, that. The thing is, we found out that you are actually nice, and we're lucky we got to know you, sorta. Here, this is something for Horseland. Oh, how pretty! It's called a Dala horse, a traditional gift where I come from. Thank you, Linnea. And thank you for everything. Well, we'd better go, Alexia. There's a plane waiting for us at the airport. Yes, good luck, Herr What did you just say to her? I told her, I will take you home now. Windy only understands Icelandic. What do you know? She wasn't a snob. She just didn't understand what we were saying. That's why she didn't talk to us. Hmm, I knew that. Bless, bless. That means goodbye. Bless, bless. Bless, bless. bless, bless. bless. I'm glad we met that horse. Me too. She turned out to be pretty nice after all. Right, Angora? I suppose some of us may have jumped to conclusions about her. Yep. The world's full of fine folks. 
if you just take the time to get to know them.